Morning, how are you diddling? Welcome to the first of a load of new videos where you're joining me on permanent daddy daycare duty with everything that's going on at the moment. Uh, even though Susanna's as a key worker, we think it's probably best to keep Max at home, keep our child minder and her family safe as well, just in case he becomes a carrier and we're not kind of thing. So yeah, we're just going to keep everybody safe and Max and I are gonna have a whole bunch of daddy daycare time yeah you ready for it I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing for the next three weeks uh, it's gonna be interesting running a business and looking after him every single day I think I'm gonna be working way late into the night oh yes first task of the day watch the street cleaner fill with water you like a bit of this don't you Hey, is this your favourite part of the day? Watching the street cleaner. There he goes. Oh, and he's going now as well. Off he goes. There he goes. Give him a wave. Should we go to the next window? Come on then. Oh. There he is. Give him a wave. <laughs> Goodbye. There he is. Say bye. <laughs> ah, this daddy day camelac is a, a simple job. Just find lots of lorries with lights on, street street cleaning, and we'll be laughing for the next three weeks. Tell your friends that this might take some time and you'll be back another day. I can see us breaking down the barrier. wasn't the plan first thing this morning uh, we literally Max and I were gonna go out for our little walk and have some exercise and then later on we're gonna go for a run hopefully uh, but I was gonna get Max out for some fresh air and Susanna's got a flat so as she's a key worker she has to be in work she works in a pharmacy uh, so what I've had to do is uh, drive her to Newbury with Max in the back and then now we've got to go back to Andover get her car fixed, hopefully find a garage that is actually open at the moment. I'm keeping my fingers crossed the really local garage is actually open because we do have um, a garage in our town who are nationwide and well known for doing things very quickly, but they're very expensive, should we put it that way. So I'm not really that keen to go and get a new tire from them. So I'm hoping the closer garage who are half the price pretty much of the quick quick garage uh, are actually open and able to do it uh, so i'm gonna give him a call when we get home and then fingers crossed he doesn't fall asleep so we can go get it done and then crack on with our day not really what we had planned uh, got to go pick up Susanna later on today as well at about six o'clock uh, they're going to be working longer hours because it's just absolutely crazy at the moment and um, obviously uh, everybody buying what they need to buy and then some as well even from pharmacies so yeah fun and games has started on our first day of the official daddy daycare lockdown daddy daycare whatever you want to call it um, anyway max and i off back to andover now and uh, hopefully go and get his on his car sorted as well see you on the other side all right then, tyres all sorted. Not the ideal start to the day, especially for Susanna Blesser, because it costs a small fortune. And now, me and this one, we're gonna do some play cooking. We've got pizza and things to make and pretend to eat. I'm so hungry. Yeah. What, what? Yeah? Well, if you get some into the colander, then we can cook it all off, can't we? Yeah. We need to, we need to cook the carrot. Flip it. Yeah! Cook the carrot. Should we put some tomato in there as well? Carrot and tomato. Okay. Oh, and that tomato as well. All right. Okay. Oh, and this tomato as well. Okay. okay. And what? The pizza? Will that go in there? It's a strange concoction. Yeah. Oh, and grapes. Okay. So, tomato, yeah. carrot. And orange, okay. Oh, and fish. Wow. This is going to be interesting. Cordon Bleu Chef Max. Oh, we need extra pizza, do we? Okay. I suppose you know what you're doing. I have no idea. Good cooking. 
Yeah. Yeah? What are you making? What are you making? Well, I don't know what you're making. Yeah. Do you know what he's making? Come on then. Need to need to stir it all up. Stir it up. Uh, no. Okay. All right then. All the playing is all done and dusted because it's lunchtime. So I've made paella. Well, I made paella the other night for dinner. We had some leftovers. Max particularly enjoyed it, so he's having some paella, some extra veg, some peas, and some sweet corn. And because we haven't bought any from the shops because there aren't any at the moment. There's no chips or anything like that. I've made some homemade chips with some old potatoes that we had. So they're just cooling down and then he can have a little bit of that as well because he quite likes a, a chip or two. I don't like him to have too many. Um, so the rest are for me. But yeah, he, he can have a couple anyway. But he's done really well. He's eating all his paella um, and the chicken and everything else that went with it. Um, and now he's just working his way through the last few bits of vegetables, aren't you? Yeah, you're doing really good. <laughs> He's not been eating well recently, so the fact that he's eating well today is a godsend. The speed of light we cross the stratosphere. Oh yeah. We can go so far. waiting for it all day because he kind of fell asleep for five minutes in the car on the way home from Newbury after dropping off Susanna so it's now ten past two which means hopefully fingers crossed I can try and get a couple of hours work in before we have to go and pick up my wife and then come back again and then I'm going to work through the evening it's going to be an interesting time of looking after Max by day and working by night and somewhere in between I'll sleep and eat but we'll make it work Everybody's gonna have to do the same thing. I'm not the only one. Let's dance the night away, we're locked together far away, you and me. Uh, we'll have a celebration to an unknown destination, can't you see? I can see us breaking down the barrier. Oh, yeah. Maxie, come on. So that was the UK's version of what they were doing in Italy and doing in Spain. A uh, minute clapping for everybody in the NHS and all the key workers. Right now, it's back to more work for me. 